Hello, my name is Eloise and this is Hannah and we are from Ogilvy High School. Today we are here in Lily and Dot talking to Katinka about running her own business. Let's go have a chat. What's your role here at Lily and Dot? I'm the owner manager here at Lily and Dot. Can you tell me a bit about Lily and Dot? Certainly, Lily and Dot is a handmade business in that we showcase handmade gifts for children and mums and dads and we also have an online store as well as a workshop program. What's your favourite part of being a store owner? I meet a lot of lovely people from newborn babies to grandmothers and grandfathers that come in and buy gifts. So certainly making those relationships with the customers. What are some of the opportunities and benefits from this industry? Some of the opportunities and benefits that people may not realise about retailing is that I'm also the marketing manager, the buyer, and the bookkeeper for a small business. I have an online store and a workshop program. So unfortunately, I'm not just sitting behind the counter crocheting and making toys to sell in the shop, but I'm liaising with my suppliers. I'm providing customer service and I'm handling a lot of book work as well. What experience and education do you have? My experience and education is, is quite broad. I have a degree in art history but I've also worked in retail management with Flight Centre and Grace Brothers, now Maya. And I've got a lot of experience in PR and communications as well. How did you become interested in owning Lily and Dot in the first place? So I've brought all my skills together in terms of being a people manager, a marketer and a buyer. And I've been able to harness all of that and put it into Lily and Dot. Who's suited to something like this? Somebody who understands that owning their own business, no matter what sector it is, is not a nine to five job. And when I've worked in the private and public sectors, in my experience to date, I've never been a nine to five worker. So somebody that wants to put 110% into everything that they do. For someone looking at owning their own business, what kind of pathways should they be looking at? In terms of developing business acumen. Again, it's not about sitting in a shop and having cups of tea with your customers all day or, or buying stock and gift wrapping it. There are actually a lot of resources out there that you can tap into to develop your marketing skills, your management skills and a host of other things in between. There are programs through the state and federal government, um, the Australian Tax Office, mentorship and there are a lot of programs out there through state and federal government agencies. Mentorship, forums, online and face-to-face -face events that you can attend, many of which are free. Thank you Katinka, today has been a great insight into owning your own business. Hopefully this gives students a better idea of what to expect and what pathways to look into.